Hey everyone, let me ask you a question. Have you ever spent hours and hours creating a video, you know, you spend time doing the research, filming the video, and then optimizing the video, and then it doesn't rank, or you don't get any trap, you get uh, a few views or view subscribers. Uh, probably many of you are probably in the same boat. I know that I've created many videos in the past few years, and some of them never ranked. Uh, some of them, of course, uh, didn't rank initially, but then as uh, YouTube changed the algorithm, etc., they started ranking. But, you know, not every video is going to rank or do well on YouTube uh, in the YouTube search or YouTube suggested. But uh, you definitely want to increase your chances by um, increase your chances for ranking and increase your chances for your videos to appear and suggested by doing the work up front. And what I primarily mean is doing the keyword research. Because if you can do the, uh, identify the correct keywords in the beginning, then you have a higher probability of, and I emphasize the correct keywords, then you have a higher probability of your videos doing well on YouTube. And then if they, if they rank on YouTube or they appear in YouTube, YouTube, YouTube suggested videos, then you can get, you know, you can get views, subscribers, and build your audience, grow your channel, etc. So that's why, that's kind of what I want to talk about today, kind of giving you a tutorial, uh, kind of the steps that I go through, probably, uh, you know, some alternatives as well. Uh, just looking at the, uh, how to identify the correct keywords, and then also um, looking at the, the tools that you have available, like YouTube search, which probably most people are using, and then also looking at TubeBuddy, which uh, they recently updated the uh, the keyword tool. And so we're going to look at that and some other tools as well. So um, if we can identify the correct keywords, then you know we can have a high probability of that particular video doing well on YouTube. And then if it if it stays there and keeps on doing well, then you're going to get evergreen traffic. So you're building an evergreen tra traffic machine and um, that's going to be working for you uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, year after year. So uh, and all the videos that I've done on my channel, I have quite a few that are continuing to generate traffic and um, uh, also many of them are also generating uh, not only traffic but also sales on automatic and I haven't touched them. So that's the beautiful thing about YouTube. It's a, a great search engine. So if you can get your videos uh, found in YouTube search, found in YouTube suggested, and uh, then, you know, also on Google, then you've got a great machine working for you that can generate your traffic, your leads, and your sales. So I want to welcome everybody here. Um, we've got uh, Vogue of today. We've got uh, Harley. Good to see you. Simply Beth. We've got Chris, good to see you, Chris, and Dana Beach Resort, John Eckhart, McDonald French Fries. Oh, I could do some of those uh, right now. They'll be nice and warm. And we got Mr. Tour Build. So my name is Herman Drost, and uh, my channel is all about how to grow your audience on YouTube so you can generate traffic leads and sales on autopilot. Because, uh, you know, if you have one video working for you, that's great, but if you have multiple videos working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, then you've got a, uh, a traffic machine, you've got a lead machine, you've got a sales machine, you know, you've got a, sa a sales uh, sales funnel. So uh, I've talked about that uh, before in some of my other videos. But today we're going to talk about uh, how to do the proper keyword research uh, So uh, for YouTube so that you can um, cut short the time that you're doing, uh, cut short the time that you're creating videos that, that don't get any traffic. So uh, I want to do that up front. So um, let's look at the steps that are needed to research the proper keywords for YouTube videos in 2019. Now it's, it's, uh, it hasn't changed that much, uh, but you know, uh, like TubeBuddy's updated their tool, and um, 
Uh, there's, you know, some other things to, uh, it's always good to be reminded how to do keyword research. So, um, you know, if any, anybody has extra tips as we go along, then put them in the chat and, um, then we'll, uh, you know, answer some questions at the end. So step one is really uh, looking at, uh, instead of thinking about one particular video that you're going to create, think about a series of videos. So the beauty of thinking about a series of videos based upon a theme is that, uh, one is that it's easier to then create a, create, uh, uh, a bunch of videos at once. So say, it was like, um, tell your main keyword phrases like how to get fit. Well, then, you know, you'd be look, uh, how to get fit at home, how to get fit while you're at the beach, how to get fit, uh, you know, in one minute and three minutes and one day and three days, whatever like that. So, um, so you can, you could put all those series of videos into a playlist. And then when somebody goes to that playlist, then they're going to be binge watching uh, particularly, you know, if they're really interested in how to get fit, then they're going to binge watch uh, a series of videos. So I think instead of thinking about, you know, and, and I've done this in the past where I thought, you know, I've kind of been a bit stressed. Oh, I need to put a video. I need to schedule a video. But if you plan beforehand, uh, like one main theme, and then based on that theme, instead of creating maybe like a, a 20 minute video, you could chop that that video, which we're going to mention all those points into my maybe like twenty videos that are say five minutes each or seven minutes each. So and then you can you know once once you've uh, identified identified your main keyword phrase, then you could also not only rank your videos your individual videos, but you can also rank uh, for the playlist. So then you have two possibilities of those videos not only appearing in search individually, but also in suggested, then also your playlist can can rank. And then uh, also if you, you know, if that those uh, that keyword phrase is searched on Google, a possibility that your video can also rank in Google. So that that's kind of brings you all these different kind of traffic sources. And uh, so that's what I'd say in the first step is to really Think about a series of videos instead of um, just one solo video. Oh, good to see you, Cricket. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, so the, uh, the second step is to identify that main keyword phrase. So, um, and I think the best way to do that is to go into the YouTube search box. So I'm going to switch over to screen share here and show you um, um, show you a keyword phrase uh, how to get six pack abs. I just picked that out of, out of the blue, but you know since ever, since we're in the um, since we're in the start of the year and people a lot of people are thinking about how to uh, lose weight and how to get fit and how to get six pack abs. I thought, hey, why don't pick six pack abs? So uh, let me go over to screen share here. Oh, hi, Spike. Good to see you all the way from Australia. Great, great. Uh, good to see you there. So uh, I'm going to uh, switch over here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, so it, uh, I'm putting uh, how to get six-pack abs in the search, YouTube search box here. And um, so if I chop off the S, I'll put the S back on. Then we see uh, how to get six pack abs, how to get six pack abs for kids, two weeks at home, two minutes for girls, fast, one minute, 30 days, one one month. And you can see this, um, see the search volume here. This is another uh, good idea is to install the free Chrome extension keywords everywhere. And once you install the free Chrome extension, then, um, then these, uh, the search volume for these particular keyword phrases will appear beside, you know, appear next to it. So, so for this one, how to get six pack abs, you got 1600, um, searches per month. So searches per month has been, means how many people are searching on that particular phrase each month. 
how to get six pack abs and how to get six pack abs for kids uh, for a kid uh, 10 searches per month and how to get six pack abs at home 140 per month so that you know if you if there's no so like how to get six pack abs for girls doesn't show any search volume um, now possibility is that um, you know there might be search volume for another particular keyword phrase but um, you for instance you could go for the um, phrase how to get six pack abs but instead of um, instead of going for that one which might be very uh, very competitive you do how, how to get six pack abs for girls which may not have any search volume for that phrase but you're actually going for that phrase how to get six pack abs so it could be you could do a bunch of videos on you know how to get six pack abs and two weeks at home, three minutes for girls, fast, etc. And but you're you're going after that very comp very competitive phrase, how to get six pack abs. So um, another tool that you can use is the Google Keyword Planner. So let's go to that one. And on this one, uh, let me see. Well this is uh, you have to have a Google AdWords account, but if you um, if you go into Google Keyword Planner, I think it's in here. Is it in the tools, yeah. So once you're inside Google AdWords, then you got to go to that, click on that um, the tools icon, and then you uh, go to the Keyword Keyword Planner. So that's what I'm going to here. And then uh, we just go to the um, how to get six pack abs keyword ideas. And here it's got, it'll also give you um, all these different suggestions. And it'll also give you the, uh, the volume, the cost per click, and then average, average monthly searches, competition. Now I wouldn't, wouldn't say that this is the entirely accurate because Google AdWords uh, focus is to make money so they might exaggerate you know some of their particular searches so but it gives you kind of a an indication of uh, what kind of keywords uh, can be suggested and what kind of keywords are being searched so you got uh, how to get a six-pack six-pack abs how to get abs stomach exercises so it kind of gives you different uh, suggestions so um, so this is the uh, Google Keyword Planner. Then another tool that you can use is the Uber Suggest tool. And um, that's at um, neilpatel.com forward slash Uber Suggest. And that is, uh, so here we've got how, how to get six pack abs. Do a search here and then We've got some keyword suggestions here, how to get six pack abs, fast, six pack abs woman, three months, two months, female, etc. Then we've got the trend, we've got the uh, the volume. So this trend here is uh, search volume of the keyword over the past uh, last 12 months. Then the volume is the number of searches this keyword has during a month. Then the cost per click is the cost per click if you wanted to pay Google to be seen as an ad and then you got the uh, PD this estimated competition in the paid search and then you got the SD which is estimated competition on an organic search so this is actually referring to uh, to Google so those are um, some of the uh, some of the uh, keyword tools and there's one more I want to show you too or it's a couple more this is the um, you know if you want to uh, look at the questions in your niche or based around a com common keyword phrase then this is answer the public so um, so I put in how to get six pack abs then click uh, get questions And says uh, we are gathering the data, and then you get all, all these all these hundreds of questions 
that you can target based upon this, uh, you know, when, are, uh, can, uh, who to make six pack abs, what to eat to get six pack abs, um, how to get six pack abs, how to make six pack abs at home with pictures, uh, uh, how to get six pack abs exercises, when, so you got all these, and then if you drill down, you can, um, you got some more words here that for questions, then you drill down f further, and then it's got, it splits the questions into all the letters of the alphabet. And then if you got keywords everywhere installed, you can see the search volume be, um, next to these questions, like how to get six pack abs at home. You got 140 uh, per month. And um, so we move over here. Let's see. So I drill down here. How to get, so under F, it's got how to, how to get six pack abs fast. 170 per month. How to get six pack abs for a kid. 10 per month. Six pack abs female. 140 per month. So, you know, you got, got all the letters of the alphabet, all these questions. You, you might be able to, uh, make hundreds of videos based upon these questions. But I, what I usually do is, Kind of get to uh, look at some of the, um, look at the search volume based upon keywords everywhere. And then I know that people are paying, uh, for an ad, you know, a cost per click for those particular keywords. Like, uh, here you got how to make six pack abs, um, video. Let's see, uh, if we can find one that's, that people are paying for, like how to, how to make six pack abs in the gym. Uh, 10 searches per month. Cost per click, hot cost per click is zero to 0 0.1, but you can probably find, um, questions where they're paying, they're willing to pay. So not just the search volume, but, uh, also how much they're willing to pay. So I can't find one at the moment that costs a lot of money. Um, Let's go to the top here. Well, for instance, got, got how to get six pack abs at home, 140 searches per month, and they're willing to pay 62 cents per click. So that's a good sign that people are willing to pay for that keyword phrase, and it's also getting a good number of searches per month. Okay, so, um, and the other keyword tool is what uh, I wanted to uh, specify too, is the uh, TubeBuddy tool. So, um, where is it? Okay, so, okay, go here. So, once you've got the... Uh, the TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy is a, actually a free Chrome extension. Uh, you also have a paid version, which gives you more keywords. But uh, the, the idea is that with TubeBuddy, you can uh, do the keyword research really fast. So let me just show you that quickly. So I've got it installed, and then I get this TB at the top of the browser here. And you just uh, click on that. You've got the Keyword Explorer. And it says Launch Keyword Explorer. Then I put uh, how to get six pack abs, and as you can see, it's um, it's actually got a, a score here. It gives you a summary and shows that this is very very competitive. So uh, this is uh, the weighted, but that's kind of according to uh, your channel and. Um, then the unweighted is, um, as you can see here, general score for how this keyword to target is uh, based, target based on search volume competition. The weighted is how good this keyword is to target for your specific channel based upon the search volume competition relevancy. So these are two different uh, ones, but you can see the search volume is extremely high. The competition is very high. 
Uh, optimization strength uh, very low, which is a good thing. And then you can see like, you know, the uh, U versus top ranked videos, uh, 4 million views for a top ranked, um, uh, top ranked channel, average is 3.68 million views. And then, um, then you've got 200, 260K views here, and then my channel 676. So it definitely wouldn't be uh, a channel that, I mean, a, a keyword phrase that you would really want to go after because it's, you know, much too competitive. So, um, so in that case, you probably want to go for uh, something, you know, some of these suggestions. So there's got these video searches, web searches, and video topics. So these are video searches, then you've got the web searches, which are the, the ones in Google. And then we've got video topics. So uh, this, is a, this might be a topic that you might want to go after. How long does it take to get six-pack abs? But uh, let's look at the video searches. And um, let's see what we can go for here. Um, Okay, let's look at how to get six-pack abs in two weeks as a suggestion. <clears throat> okay, that's not so good. So let's look at uh, how to get six-pack abs two weeks at home. Okay, it says it's good, 60 over 100. So this has uh, moderate search volume, competition's very quite low, optimi optimization strength. So optimization strength is very low. So if you if you that means if you um, you has moderate search volume, there's not much competition. There's uh, optimization strength very low. So that means that people have not really optimized their videos for that phrase in the title, description, and tags. And this is a total search results. So that would be a good phrase to go after. And then if you look at web searches, um, not so good. So, so this could be a good one to go for, um, how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. So, um, so you actually not rank, not just, you wouldn't be able to, uh, uh, you'd be able to rank for that particular keyword phrase, but you're also going after how to get six pack abs, how to get six, six pack abs in two weeks. And then you can, we can also look at the results. And um, so we've got get six pack abs in two weeks. We can look at these particular videos and um, just look at the competition here. So then um, so here it's got, this particular video has got the highlighted areas show that particular keyword phrase. So get six pack abs in two weeks, but it's not at home. Uh, six pack, get, get, uh, get pack, get abs at home, but it doesn't have, uh, how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. So I don't see any videos here in the title or even in the description, how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. So just by looking at that competition. <clears throat> so with the with the um, two buddy keyword tool, keyword explorer tool, you have quickly identified um, the particular keyword phrase. So with the uh, yeah John was asking do you use the paid version or free version two buddy? So the free version of two buddy has like a limited amount of searches. I use the paid version um, because you get give, gives you a lot more uh, keywords, you know, keyword suggestions you can go after. So I would kind of recommend to um, you know get a paid version, either the I think it is the uh, star version or the pro version, star version or legend version. I've got the legend version so I can split test 
uh, thumbnails, which I think is a great a great feature. But you know, if you just go upgrade to the if you're on the free version, upgrade to the pro version. Um, I've got a uh, I've got a um, a code you can use of use uh, Herman's buddy. Um, put that you know when you when you go to um, uh, if you want to upgrade use Herman's buddy get twenty percent off you know for a lifetime of your subscription. So um, so what we've done here is actually we've gone um, we've identified a keyword phrase that we want to go after. We've looked at the competition and then also when you look at the competition. <coughs> then you also want to uh, look at you know how how long how um, how much authority those videos have got if you don't see it in the in the title of any of the videos that means it has a really great chance but anyway let's let's go back to um, let's go back to YouTube Get out of there, and we'll put that keyword phrase in here. I'll just show you another thing you can do. Um, so I've got how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home just by putting in the YouTube search box. And I can probably also get some other suggestions. If I cut off home, then I've got. How to get sick pack ad in two weeks at home, Telugu, Hindi, etc. So not too many suggestions there, but uh, you can also go through. Like over here, I've got the um, uh, TubeBuddy tool uh, installed, so it's showing the same as I showed you before. I got very good overall keyword score, which is uh, seventy-two over a hundred. Then I've got related searches. I've got most used tags. I can copy those tags to the clipboard, and I can put them into into my um, into my tags. But um, another way you can you can uh, see if that keyword phrase is in the titles is you can do it manually, and you can just go um, in your Chrome browsing, go to Edit, Find. Then find again, and then you put the uh, keyword phrase in here: "How to get six-pack abs in two weeks." Let's see what happens here. Uh, <clears throat> if it's working for me here, uh, maybe I just have to. I'll just put how to get six pack abs and see if that works there. <coughs> okay, it doesn't seem to be working for me, but usually when you do this, then you get the highlighted titles on um, on the page here. So that's not working too well, but um, let me try that again. Okay, I'm scrolling down. Okay, over here it's highlighted, but it should also highlight the uh, titles of the videos. But another thing I want to uh, point out is that uh, even if your particular keyword phrase is um, appear, you know, some videos on the on the first page of YouTube uh, have those have those um, key, that keyword phrase in the title then you might rank number five or number six so that's still good especially if you get if there's getting a lot of traffic uh, from the from that um, from that keyword phrase so for instance here we've got uh, you know two million uh, subscribers this month and we've got 11 million views for how to get six pack abs I uh, put that whole keyword phrase in there, how to get six pack abs in two weeks at home. 
then uh, this is what, see this is an old video at the top three years old and um, this one got uh, 948,000 views and uh, let's see this one got 18 million views uh, this was a year ago that was one year ago and this one here got uh, 770,000 views so we know that it's definitely a very popular keyword phrase like how to how to get six pack abs but we've got six pack abs at, in two weeks at home there's a high probability that you could rank for that keyword phrase even amongst all these big channels and ones that have got millions of views and have thousands of subscribers so if you're a small channel this is a great way to find a less competitive keyword phrase that you can rank for and appear even amongst all the um, you know big channels and one other thing I wanted to show you about TubeBuddy uh, let's go back here where is that Oh, I'll put, put that in there again. Depending on the keyword phrase, they um, they also have the possibility of uh, you can see the results. You can also see trending tabs. You got uh, this one's not trending, but uh, say you put in uh, something like Fortnite, which is a very very popular video game and then we do uh, say trending see then you got all these rise and related queries the last six months and you got breakout you know this is uh, you know it's all, all very all trending and then we've also got uh, top related queries then we look at historical and we can see that Fortnite's very popular it's still trending upwards so that's a good sign and then we've got the map which shows you the different countries. So very popular in Australia, uh, United States, uh, Canada, Finland. So it shows you all these um, interest areas around the world. So I just want to show you that, but uh, the summary is the best. So I definitely wouldn't go after Fortnite because obviously it's very bad. But once you've... Um, identified other keyword phrases like Fortnite funny moments, Fortnite week five challenges, then you can copy them copy the words to the clipboard <coughs> and um, then you can uh, put those words into your tags, description, etc. So I just want to show you another aspect of that um, Where is that? Oh, here, here I just wanted to show you that talking about creating a video series, I created a video series on how to rank YouTube videos in 2019. And here's all the videos that I've created. Uh, here's some of my recent videos. Here's some of previous videos. So this is like a whole bunch of videos that all focused on how to rank YouTube videos in 2019. So when I link to that playlist, then, um, you know, of course I put some thought into it ahead of time. What kind of series can I create? So I kind of focused on the keyword phrase, you know, how to rank YouTube videos in 2019. And then as a result of that, um, uh, if, uh, then I got you know I can I can link I can link from each of these videos to the playlist so when somebody goes to for instance um, how to rank YouTube videos for beginners I'm then um, then they'll see the other videos on the side here so they can pick and choose from there so that's a beautiful thing instead of just watching one video Let's see. Let's skip that one there. 
so they're watching this video then when they come to the end of the video then you know I've they can they can choose another video from the playlist so that's the the power of having a video series and then you can also um, you know when you plan out your series you can think what kind of call to action should I put at the um, at the end of my video that links to another video in the playlist or links to links to the whole playlist so you can when you link to your playlist you can link to any one of your other videos and then they'll see say a link to um, you know the fourth video in the playlist and then they can pick and choose from any other any other videos because they show up on the right side Okay, so um, once you once you've got your so you've uh, identified a, a a video series, you've uh, identified the keyword phrase using all the tools I talked about, the uh, uh, Google Keyword Planner, Keywords Everywhere, Uber Suggest, Answer the Public, and uh, if you want to uh, cut down, you know, save a lot of time with the keyword research, then I highly recommend using uh, TubeBuddy so so once you've done all that you can put them into uh, you know put all your keyword phrases into a uh, into a Google Doc oh, let me go let me get out of here so um, so yeah, once you've got all those keyword phrases, you've uh, researched all those keyword phrases, I would say put them into a, a Google Excel spreadsheet. And uh, so then as you create your videos, you can always go back to that spreadsheet and then move on to the next video. So that could be like two videos a week, or three videos a week. But you've done all the keyword research. You know, if you do it all up front, you maybe have a hundred video titles that you can work on. Maybe, um, maybe you can you can create like you know, one, two, three, or five different playlists uh, from that, from all those cute key, keyword phrases. So, and then, and then, because you've uh, researched those keyword phrases, you can now put them into the into the title of your video, into the description of your video, into the tags of your video, and so to optimize the video. And then you can also you know, uh, use maybe one or two one or two of those keywords in your thumbnail. So when you've identified the correct keywords, then it's much easier to rank your particular videos. Let me just do a quick check here on some of the questions which going up to the top. Uh, how are you saying Happy New Year, everyone? Yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. I uh, hope everybody's excited for the new year. And uh, that's why I wanted to do this uh, keyword research tutorial because uh, I think it's kind of the key to um, being successful on YouTube, you know, growing your channel and uh, and getting uh, views and subscribers, building an audience, um, you know, 24-7, 20, uh, year after year. Oh, it's... I Spike has said, um, G'day mate, I love your back wall cover and I've looked at your affiliate link to buy them for myself. Yeah, let me make a note of that. Um, I think it's uh, Dress Lily is, the, is, the, is where I got it from. It's basically, it's not really a real brick wall, so sorry to, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, say, say that, but uh, it's it's really like you know you have different wall hangings that look so real, and I think it you know instead of just a white wall, it definitely helps to uh, have a great background. So uh, I'll make sure I'll put put that link in the description I spike for the um, place to get that.
Okay, Giz270, good to see you. Uh, I've got a question here about I have a couple of videos that are doing well with the word harbor freight sawmill in them. Should I continue using those words in future videos? Some are showing up in Google search. Um, yeah, I would take that uh, that keyword phrase harbor, harbor freight sawmill. Um, I don't know if that refers to uh, a location, like if you're in a particular, t particular town or city, say if it was my town like Bowie, I would say Harbor Freight Sawmill in Bowie, Maryland, or Bowie, Maryland Harbor Freight Sawmill, best, best sawmill in Bowie, Maryland, so try those different, so, it's, so if it's a local, if you're focused on the local area, then I put the local keywords in there like best or uh, maybe you can also look at the how to uh, how to keyword phrases like uh, answer the public you know everything about how to um, you know make a sawmill for instance I don't know much about sawmills but um, yeah just I, I definitely include that Harbor Freight sawmill and then look at other keyword phrases that kind of support that main keyword phrase Ah, uh, hardly saying I should. I should try to uh, uh, use answer the public again. I've tried a couple of times; it hasn't clicked for me yet. Yeah, I kind of find when I get stuck for um, keyword phrases that, particularly if they're very competitive, then I'll go into answer the public, put the keyword phrase in there, and the questions that come up, I've usually have never, never often have never thought about, and then I'll check the search volume. And then I might all put them back into the YouTube search and check out the related keyword phrases. So I think it's a, it's just another great tool to kind of expand your uh, keyword research. Oh, and simply Beth has a great um, great tip here. I think everyone should focus on creating a link into the playlists. Uh, watch your own playlist all the way through to manage issues and fluency. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to uh, you know put your main uh, put your you know, every couple of days. You know, depending on how how many videos videos you produce, uh, make it a habit of putting your videos into a playlist, and not just one playlist because you have your series playlist, which is an official playlist, but you can also put. Um, you can put your videos in regular playlists. So you can, in a, an official playlist, you can only put, um, uh, you can only put that one video in a, in a official playlist. It can't, it can't go in several official playlists, but that same video can go in multiple regular playlists, which are not official playlists. The official playlist is better because it's, be, you know, it's, it's based upon the browsing behavior of your viewers so then it's a higher probability that those videos will get get seen compared to the ones uh, that are on their own or in a regular playlist but yeah definitely link to a playlist instead of a single video Uh, John is asking, do do you use the paid version or the free version of TubeBuddy? Uh, I think I mentioned that before, but uh, yeah, I use the uh, Legend version, which is a paid version of TubeBuddy. But you can upgrade to the, um, I think the Pro version uh, or the Star version. You know, you get more uh, more perks there. But uh, let me just show you um, if I can. Just some of the other features. I'm just going to quickly screen share and show you some of the other features of TubeBuddy. So here are some of the features you got. You know, for the paid version, um, 
you can do you can do uh, the, the free version has some canned responses but you can do if you want to quickly reply to people in the comments you can um, you can go into your uh, comments and uh, you can you can do a quick search quick filter of uh, all the people that have you know you didn't didn't respond to the comments so and then you got card templates you got uh, you got uh, default upload profiles you got end screen templates you've got um, a thumbnail generator <coughs> then uh, some of the some of the paid versions you can bulk copy the cards you can bulk delete cards bulk delete end screens this is a great feature the uh, bulk find replace and append so you can say you have something in your description like a link in your description and you want to get you want to replace the description or a paragraph in your description across all the videos on your channel then you can just find that um, find that paragraph in your description and then it'll find find that same paragraph across all the videos in your uh, and all the descriptions on your videos and then you can replace it with uh, another paragraph you got bulk thumbnail overlays bulk update the cards playlists and then we've also, also got video seo so you got auto translator uh, keyword rank tracking I'll show you on this one let's see I gotta show you over here I think this is good so like here's a video that I did a while back uh, YouTube brand account personal so if you got the two buddy keyword uh, two buddy um, extension installed it'll show the ranking of your keywords you put in the tags so for instance on this video I'm ranking for YouTube brand account number four then YouTube brand account versus personal number three uh, channel change channel brand account uh, number 20 then what is YouTube um, what is YouTube brand account so um, so I've got multiple rankings for multiple keywords just on the one video so that's uh, so you, if you got the TubeBuddy extension installed then you'll be able to see the rankings for your keywords and, and you might be surprised that you're not just ranking for one keyword phrase but you might be ranking for you know I've got one two three uh, four five six seven keyword phrases that I'm ranking for just on the one video so that's pretty handy to quickly see uh, then going back to the um, features you've also got promotions you got promote one of your videos in the descriptions of all the other descriptions of your videos so you maybe want to promote uh, a video across all the videos on your channel then with TubeBuddy you can promote that one video on all the videos uh, in the description of all the videos on your channel so you got this vid to vid promotion then you got data and research so you can monitor YouTube for new videos playlists and channels uploaded from you and your brand so you know you got a lo lot of features here um, you can you know, get brand alerts you know if you're doing brand um, if you want to make money from brands but another great perk of TubeBuddy is that you get the TubeBuddy mobile which is free uh, this is with the paid version then with Audio Hero you got 250,000 premium royalty free music tracks and sound effects if you uh, if you have a paid version of TubeBuddy so I think that's really valuable because you know you want to get some sound effects you want to get some music tracks then you can get them free from Audio Hero then this is something new that has come up re recently called Collab Space which I guess you're paying $10 a month for if you want to do collaborations but you get one year for free um, 
if you have a paid subscription of TubeBuddy. Then you got Epidemic Sounds, which is uh, cutting edge production music. You get 25% off. You got Tuba Tools, which is uh, put out by Nick Nimmin. So that, that can give you some high quality graphics, video effects for YouTube channel. Instead of paying 20 a month, you get it free. And then you got the YouTube Starter Kit, a sample pack from, I think it's Roberto Blake. So you're getting some thumbnail templates, end screen and card card templates. And uh, then you got YouTube Stock. Oh, I just got a message saying my mouse battery is very low. So um, hopefully I'll have enough juice in there. So that's the, uh, yeah, if you want to get the uh, upgrade to the paid version of um, TubeBuddy, you can just uh, use the code Herman's Buddy. And then you get 20% off. Let's put it in the... Uh, And here's the URL that you can use. That's the URL you can use. Okay, just looking at some of the questions again. Is there a tutorial on exactly what a keyword is? I have difficulty understanding keywords. So it goes to asking what a keyword is. Well, the keyword is really like a, a main word that people are searching on in the uh, in the search engine. So, say for instance, um, my main usually usually I would definitely not recommend going for a, a single keyword, but say like how to tie a tie, that would be like a keyword phrase. Like it's a a main uh, phrase that people are searching on in the in Google or YouTube. So the keyword is just like a, a main word. That you would focus on. So it could be fitness, it could be Fortnite, it could be, um, I don't know, camping, you know, something like that. That'll be a main key keyword. And then the keyword phrase is the phrase that contains that keyword. So hopefully that clears it up. Oh, Sharon saying, nothing is real in the digital world these days, Herman, but I'm still struck by the lights behind the plants. Yeah, it's uh, the beautiful thing about this uh, wall hanging is that it has the lights built into the wall hanging, so I don't have to put any lights to shine on my background. So saves you uh, saves a lot of money. Oh, and somebody Beth has another um, another tip here. Another thing about playlists, people often sort them by date, and the playlist starts with the newest video. Usually I think they should be sorted old to new. Uh, for me, I tried to look at um, what would be the most, uh, you know, the one that starts the whole, uh, whole sequence in the playlist. Uh, 
what will be the most popular video. So after you've got some data, then you can look at which video in the playlist is getting the most views and then put that one at the top. Or if you think like uh, for the for the how to rank videos in 2019, I put the how to rank videos for beginners at the top because I felt like that is the most relevant to people for people that are searching for how to rank videos. So um, I think you got to, you know, uh, get some idea. Think think of uh, the search searches, the viewers intent, you know, what they would you know what you think they would like to see and then once you accumulate data and maybe the fourth one in the playlist is getting the most views then you could move that one to the top and then have them you know going in descending order oh, okay yeah so uh you're talking about vlogs yeah that would that would make sense to uh, have chronological for a vlog um yeah, so you could uh, just follow the story. So if you've got any other questions about um, keyword research, put them in the chat. Um, so Grizz has, says, uh, sawmill is a keyword, but I want to use a keyword phrase like sawing up this log for a title description or both. Yeah, I would say just do your, uh, if your, if your main keyword is, uh, was, what was it? Harbor Freight Sawmill. Then, you know, just, just look at the, um, look at the, uh, questions that people are asking. Uh, so, so you'd mention about, uh, how to saw up a log or something like that. You know, maybe you can, look, you, know, you put, put your, uh, put some different keyword phrases in the YouTube search box or, you got two buddy put it in there and look at all the different questions that come up so you could uh, say like how to saw a log and then at the end you could put uh, harbor mill um, whatever your uh, business is you know put it at the end but you you capitalize on the searches by putting that keyword phrase in the uh, in the title Uh, John, no, I don't have a cold, but I did uh, quite a while back. Yeah, if you've got any other questions on uh, key research, then put them in there. I think, I think the the bottom line with key research is if you. Uh, if you do it correctly, then you've got a higher chance of your videos doing well in YouTube search and YouTube suggested. And um, then you can all, uh, maybe I'll do, I'll, I'll do another live stream on that, but how to get ranked in Google is also uh, very valuable as well. So if you can get ranked in YouTube search, YouTube suggested, and uh, Google, then uh, you've got a lot of traffic, you know, coming to your videos, and if you've got a lot more videos you produce, then you know your traffic uh, continues to go up. So I think the bottom line with keyword research is to uh, you know create a whole bunch of video titles that you've researched, put them into the Google Excel document, and in the in the columns you could put um, you know the search volume. You could put uh, not in the search volume, but you know uh, other other possibilities, or put the date that you did the research, and um, then as you as you see those particular videos ranking, you can even put the ranking into another column, and then see the uh, changes uh, in the ranking score. So if you don't have two, if you don't have two, buddy then you have to kind of do it, you know, you have to look at look at it manually by putting your uh, keyword phrase on the YouTube search box. But if you've got uh, TubeBuddy, then you can check the rankings uh, just by looking at the tags. Oh, Raymond has a very important question. When are you visiting us here in Ireland? <laughs> 
you know, I'd love to go to Ireland. Actually, I have a good friend in Ireland that uh, a mate of mine that uh, was a long time in America. He's from Ireland. He's got a business there. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to go to Ireland. And my son has been there, and uh, he enjoyed. He, he actually particularly enjoyed the music in Ireland and the uh, the hills. So, yeah, definitely uh, would like to go there. Uh, if any of you are interested in, um, you know, if you're just starting your channel or you need, if you're trying to grow your channel, then I've just finished an ebook uh, called uh, Tube Bootcamp. I'll put it in here. And it's basically, it's, uh, I've got about over 100 pages in there. And it also includes screenshots. And, you know, you might want to uh, download that that particular ebook, and then you can just go through, you know, your keyword research, your uh, optimization and uh, promotion and building email list, etc. So, got about 100 pages. I keep on adding more to it. You know, uh, recently I added some of the YouTube tools that I talked about uh, today. So um, if you need some kind of guidance and step-by-step -step instructions, I definitely uh, check out that uh, particular ebook. And then if you're not a member of the my Facebook group, uh, you can go to uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash tube video bootcamp. And you know you can interact with others there, ask questions, get feedback on your thumbnails, get feedback on your videos. So I think I think when it comes to YouTube, we don't want to just go it alone, but try to get, try to be objective and try to get feedback from others. Because even though I've been at it for a number of years, I still have a lot to learn, even from new people that have like like a fresh mind towards YouTube. So I think we can all learn from each other. So I think in the Facebook group, it's a great way to ask questions, get feedback, interact with others, etc. So uh, definitely check that out. So, yeah, I want to thank everybody for attending the live stream today and uh, want to wish you a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. I hope your channel is going to take off like a rocket. And uh, if you need help, then, you know, come into the forum, uh, ask questions in the comments, and, uh, you know, definitely uh, try to help in that way, any, any way I can. And I hope you have a great weekend. I uh, wish you all the best. See you on the next video. Take care.